All right, I'll call the meeting to order um, of the meeting of the Public Utilities Commission on Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. So let's start with the roll call. All righty. So Andy Hassan, uh, Joyce Hall. Here. Susie Quorum. Here. Pat Nolan. Here. Dave Preisel. And Scott Snyder. Here. All right, we've got a quorum. Um, approval of the meeting minutes from April 9th. So moved. Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Okay, old business. Action on 1201 Livingstone Road Building Edition proposal. Okay, so you've got, I'm just readjusting my screen here, so sorry. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, so we had this on last month and there was some questions about um, if we had to go with a low bidder. And that was the the question. So basically, it got tabled. Um, if you remember, I I sent you guys out uh, a copy of an email um, from our attorney that basically says, um, yeah, let me just. All right. So it does. It does not actually bid the project, nor does it seek to commit to otherwise award the project. Uh, to any party, he reviewed this, uh, and it, he, the city is not bound by the strict competitive bidding requirements because the proposals sought do not fall within the statutory definition of public construction. So, so that takes away that we do not have to go with low bid. I mean, you're more than welcome to, obviously, um, but it does take that away. So, and then you also have the. Uh, spreadsheet that I that I uh, emailed over to everybody, um, which kind of just breaks everything down. You've got uh, the five uh, proposals, um, what's included, what's not included, uh, total costs. And I, I think the, the biggest thing to look at is um, the construction management fee general contractor uh, line. That would be about halfway, a little over halfway down. Um, it just kind of goes through and lists out that uh, one of them uh, had the general contractor and construction management in um, in their proposal. The other ones did not have a general contractor. So basically what that means is that when the bid package goes out, it will go out to a general contractor or a general contractor will, will bid on it. With and then get all the pricing from the subs and all that. So so part of their part of their fee that they're going to be requesting would be uh, also the general contractor uh, fee. Um, and as you noticed in the one that there is one that did propose the general contractor in their proposal. Um, so that would be a cost savings there. Um, and then the basically the general contractor would act. You know they get their subs um, and they'll they'll bid that out to different subs um, and go from there. So if you guys, I know it's kind of confusing. Hopefully not, but hopefully you guys kind of had a chance to take a look at that. And um, and then there's also the 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 design bid build versus the design construction management page, which which follow that. So um, if there's any questions on that, otherwise, you know, if you guys have any other questions. Um, so again, this is just for the the design and you know construction management and the uh, construction uh, general contractor um, is what we're proposing tonight, not the actual building because it hasn't even been designed yet. So I will leave it at that. Okay. I think, Do we uh, have a, was that oh, I was just going to comment. You know, if any of you have worked with general contractors and the fee that's added. Uh, for general contractors, pretty significant. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a percentage of the bottom line generally. So I think the fact that the one builds it in 
is is a big advantage for well, us. Mark to and know. Johnson, um, they uh, handled the um, uh, the fire station project and some other projects around the city as well. And there haven't been any complaints about their work. Right. Mm -hmm. Kip, has there been any work recently in the last 10, 20 years with um, Oratel Architects? No, they, I got, they bid on a, they bid on one other uh, public works project, but that's all, I, I'm not familiar with them at all. Okay. That was going to be my next question. If they've even bid on any prior Cedar Corp is pretty well known. They've been around a long time and kind of all over. Yep. They've done, I'm sure, I'm assuming they've done a number of city projects. Uh, they've done a few for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. They're actually doing the Lake Malibu crossing right now for us. Yeah. I believe they've done some of the schools, school system work. Well, and they're also doing the um, zoning re revamp for the city right now. Yeah, they, they, the Cedar does some work for us. Yes. SCH, they're pretty familiar with their work. They've yep. been around a long time across the, across throughout the metro and West central Wisconsin and the metro area. Pershbach, have they ever bid before? No, they're, they're they've never bid before. Um, when I talked to the guy, I was I kind of questioned that too. Um, they're from like the Appleton area, but they were interested in it, so they did put hmm. a bid in on it. Okay. All right. Do we have a motion to uh, accept one of the bids? I have another question. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Well, this building, it'll be big enough to park every single one of our trucks in overnight. Is that the, it's, it sounds like that's the plus, idea. Plus space for growth, correct. So everybody, all of our trucks without exception is gonna be parked in there. Yep. From the director down or- is Well, mine doesn't there go in there, but yeah. Every, okay. every, every piece of equipment that we have um, you know, we do have we do have storage up at on A Street, which is a cold storage building. Uh, so we do park, I think, one one or two in there that we use for snow plowing and different things like that, just so they're not in the way all summer. But yeah, yep, this would house that. It would house generators, um, our tool cats, you know, all of just yeah, everything. Correct. Is the uh, is the existing cold storage at twelve oh one? Does that remain? Yes. Yep. Yeah. We, we, we use that cold storage right now for parts. Um, we've got hydrant parts in there and hoses and just sure. stuff that, that doesn't matter if it's cold or not. So, yeah. Yep. Yep. The, yeah, the building that, that cold storage will remain as part of the project. Well, then the other question I had is if we do build this, are we going to have enough money left? I see we're talking about a generator at Lemon Street. Now that that's on the next item, but uh, a permanently mounted, you know, standby generator, automatic one. Uh, well, well, that's coming up. At the well, next. that but we've we've also budgeted for for those Pat. Well, that was so. Those are already in our budget. Yes. Well, I'm getting kind of worried because there's been a couple of power power outages around Hudson here already this month, and the weather hasn't been bad. I'm kind of worried about the lift stations. Will there be enough uh, money to put some generators like by the government center lift well, station got, at Cedar Canyon? Well, we've got uh, lift stations at some of the, at the bigger ones are already have lift stations or the bigger lift stations already have generators. And we just purchased those two um, from Caterpillar, you know, what, a couple months ago. Um, those are here, they're operational. Um, they have used them already. So that's, that's a definitely a plus. Um, and the the ones that we budgeted for, or the ones that that we had this year, are water, and those are th that is a budgeted item, so that does fall into our uh, what we're doing. Well, I'll move to approve moving forward with Market and Johnson and Studio EA for the facility design and project management of the um, addition to the service center. Second. 
Do we have a second? I'll second it. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. All right, so new business. Um, action on 2023-2024 DNR Sanitary Survey Report. Okay, so we just had our, uh, they just finished up our sanitary report uh, on March 14th. Um, so basically what a sanitary report is a survey of the of our whole utilities water system. Um, it is kind of confusing because it's, when it, they're calling it a sanitary report, but it's actually uh, a water a water document. Um, so they were here, uh, they came through and did it. Um, he was here for, for a good part of a day. Uh, we did not find any, if, if you kind of scroll down to the, the, the report itself, um, the significant deficiencies uh, during the course sanitary survey, no significant deficiencies were identified, which is a good thing. Um, that's different from the, a couple years ago or, or multiple years ago when we had a whole list on there. Um, and then uh, for deficiencies, uh, they identified one. And the one that they identified is actually what we're working on this year. Um, the, the Lake Malibu, that four inch cast iron Lake Malibu water, uh, water main crossing. Um, so that'll actually come off as soon as that's done. That's why you'll see a completion or a compliance due date of 6-1. Um, so if we don't, we can always extend that out to whenever the project is gonna be finished. But, um, and then they just had a couple recommendations in there, the Deer Path Tower, uh, uh, that's the one up in the furthest one up in the village uh, should be recoded. That's already on our list. Um, we we've, we've actually started working on that uh, even before this report came out. We knew that that was something that we we had to do. Um, and then the sodium levels uh, is, is and I've already talked to Public Works about that um, with just trying to limit how much salt they're putting down around our wells. Um, because we are seeing a little bit of that that sodium seep back in. So, uh, and then if you go to non-conforming features, um, it's just some stuff that they it's been in our it's been in this report for years. Um, it's things that we will fix as we do streets. Uh, there's a, just a lot of dead ends, things like that that they would like to see looped. Um, so as we're doing streets, you know, we'll we'll take care of all those um, type things. So. And then just a couple follow-up items, and that's pretty much it. So I mean, it was it was a it's a good report. Um, you know, you don't want to see any significant deficiencies for sure, and you don't want to see you know many deficiencies. And like I said, we only had the one, so we'll actually be taking care of that as soon as that Lake Malibu crossing is is completed. So, so our DNR sanitary report is is looking excellent. So, and we do need. Do you guys have any questions on this? Will they come out and reinspect then? Uh, no, what we'll do, so on that deficiency, as soon as that deficiency is done, so as soon as they tie everything together and we actually get that that new 12 inch in in uh, in play and in, in working and in use, uh, I'll just I'll just email Sonny from DNR and just tell them it's done and they'll they'll correct it on the pages. So just curious, unrelated Kip. Um What's the size of the water main that's in Second Street when they tie it in, and then over on Seventh Street and North Hudson when they tie it in? What are the two uh, respective inch. sides? Twelve inch. Both both sides. Yep. Perfect. Yep. yep. Cast iron on both sides. Yes. Cast yep. iron, and then uh, PVC or whatever they call that whole pipe, or I can't remember. Yeah, and polyethylene. The PVC. Polyethylene. Yeah. And we do need action on this. What, that it, what do we? Accepted. We just we need do? a. We just need a vote that you guys accept the report. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do we have a motion? So moved okay. to accept so moved. the report from. Oh boy. The DNR. Yeah, DNR. Here we go. I'm going back <laughs> up to my agenda. <laughs> uh, DNR sanitary survey report. Yeah. We have a second. A second. Thank you, Scott. All right. Um, any discussion? All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. All right. 4.2, action on hiring to fill a soon vacant position. So I have been notified that uh, one of our staff is going to be retiring um, June 3rd. Uh, so we will have to replace him. And the other thing that I wanted to bring, I, I uh, well, I don't have it in my issue sheet, so I apologize for that. But I did put the number two in the on the um, agenda. So we also have, I have, we have one staff that is is out on injury. Um, he got hurt a couple months ago uh, at one of the lift stations, um, and he's been out awaiting surgery on his shoulder right now. Um, I don't know when he's going to be back. And the other, he has he has indicated that there he is going to be retiring soon. I don't know when that'll be. It could be maybe later this year when he gets back from from workman's comp, um, or it could be you know sometime you know the first part of next year. Um, what I'm asking is, I would like to actually hire two staff members at this time then, um, instead of having to go back out and you know the. The costs that we have involved from, you know, the websites that we're on, the newspapers, um, just my time, you know, everything. I don't want to, I really don't want to do this now and then do it three, three to six months later again. Um, I would just rather get them on staff. Um, that way, you know, if if the the one that's out on, on uh, medical leave, um, when he comes back, you know, we can work with with that with the new person and things like that. So I just think from a, from a hiring standpoint, it, it just makes sense to hire two right now. Um, it's, it's, we definitely have the work for, for, that's for sure. So, so that's you have enough in the budget to, to pay for a second or an extra person until the second person retires. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Cause well, I mean, summer is actually, we're actually, we're actually saving, saving some money on the, injury right now too so oh okay because he's done work workman's comp yeah well the summertime is when people like to move anyway so now's the time yes yeah so i think so i would like to hire two um and we'll just you know same process i'll i'll go through an interview and then we'll end up hiring somebody or hiring two people and then put it on for approval so um i don't really need official action on that but just uh is everybody fine with me just hiring two so we get back up the full staff? <laughs> okay. Yep. I don't have a problem. Anybody else have a problem? Now's the time. Okay. <laughs> All right. 4.3, action on Lake Malibu project pay request number one. So we've got the pay request uh, from Pember for the Lake Malibu project. Uh, it, Cedar Corp did go through and uh, uh, review what they've submitted and they do agree that what they've submitted is accurate. Um, so the pay request uh, number one is in the amount of $108,161.30. Okay, any questions about that? Do we have a motion to approve? Move to approve. Second. Thank you, Susie. All right, any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Any opposed? Motion passes. Okay, 4.4, .4, action on pay application one, Northwest project. So Pember, who's the same contractor as the Lake Malibu project, uh, they did submit pay application number one for the Northwest project. Um, again, you've got also the SEH uh, uh, review letter that they do agree that what they've submitted is is that we we should be or pay for that. Uh, they also did throw a couple um, photographs in there, which is just kind of nice that we can talk about maybe a little bit on the before we get to project status and project updates. Um, just kind of shows you where they're at. I'm guessing right now they're probably 50% completed. Um, with water main up there. So, so everything's going very well. We haven't had many complaints um, from residents in the area. Uh, we, we've had to do a few 
uh, extra things for people that had to get out, you know, for doctor's appointments and garbage and mail and all that kind of fun stuff. But um, overall, the projects, the projects are really going, going very well. So uh, this pay request or this pay app number one is for the, is in the amount of $83,566.09. and nine cents. We have a motion for approval. So moved. Thank you, Susie. Do we have a second? Second. Thank you, Scott. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, 4.5. Action on second amendment Verizon lease on Deer Pass Tower. So these these come up periodically um, where the carriers that are leasing space on our towers, uh, their their lease comes up or they they're just looking to renew at some point. So basically, we are going to be renewing uh, uh, the agreement shall expire on May thirty first, twenty twenty seven, uh, commencing on June on June twenty first, twenty twenty seven. So what they're asking for is extended for five years, which is very typical with what we do. Um, and then four additional terms of five years. So basically what they're doing is, is they're, we're signing this or they're signing it, we're signing it, uh, that they want to be on our tower for 20 more years is what they're saying. Um, we went through the rent. Uh, there was a few things that that we did. Um, we took some CPI, some CPI language out that was very confusing on on the rest of them. Uh, so the monthly rent uh, will increase by five percent um, per year over the next you know amount of or over the next terms. Um, so it's it's a very it's a very simple amendment to it. So we've done these before. Uh, I, I do have to have Andy sign this, um, but we do need a uh, from you guys uh, that you're fine okay doing this. Okay. So every year the the rent increases by 5%? Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. That sounds that it's very, good. very, that's what almost every lease we have is mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. 5% five, five of the pre, of the of the previous year's amount or 5% of the original amount? No, 5% of the previous year's amount. Okay. Yeah. So what they pay on a monthly basis, that's what they're going to pay for that year. And then at the end of that year, we take whatever that is that, well, right now it's $3,333.17. We add 5% and that's their new rate. So it's 5% on that, on that 12 months. 12 months in, then it's 5% on that rate they paid on that 12th month. Yes. Okay. Yep. All right. Do we have a motion to approve? Move to approve. So, second. Thank you. All right. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Action on the summer 2023 CCR. Yeah, so in the year uh, is our annual wa uh, water quality report, um, which we have, I believe, Michelle, right? That's on the um, bills that just went out that it is available. And we do have some here at the city hall or at, at the utility building. And I believe we do have some at city hall. Um, so basically, this is our annual report that, that we're required to put out. Um, just telling everybody that everything is safe and that we are meeting federal and state requirements. Um, and then it just kind of lists all the contaminants that we that we detect or that we we sample for. And if we had any detects in range, we have nothing um, out of range. So it it's a, it's a good report. Um, it's just kind of showing everything and in, in where our information is coming from and different different things like that. Same thing that we do every year, except just updated with new results. And we will need a, a vote on that or to accept this. Do I have a motion? I move to approve the annual water quality report for summer of 2024. Second. 
Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I've got one question. Has the um, softness level changed at all with the additional salt that is being detected? We don't soften. No, I know, but I mean, or a hard, do you have, but do you have a hardness? Yeah, that's not going to change your that's not gonna change. salt okay. one. No, no. Our water, uh, I had that somewhere. Where did I have that? So 13 to 14 grains per gallon. Uh, ours are 12. To, we average between 12 to 14 grains. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So uh, 5.1 project status report, May 14th. Um, so you've got the project status report. Uh, once we'll do the um, the wastewater uh, treatment facility plan uh, that we that we approved a couple months ago to look at all of our wastewater and kind of what we want to do in the future. Um, I know SEH is working on that. I have not seen a whole lot on that yet. Um, the Green and 11th Street water water main. Uh, we just had the um, precon this morning or yesterday or this morning uh, yesterday morning on that um so that's going to be starting soon uh the lake malu water main crossing we kind of briefly touched on uh the pipe is in i believe in the next week or two they will be making that connection um in the village and then the connection uh here in the city at the bolt launch um so they'll be doing that and then that will be completed uh and then the north street we kind of talked about with the pay app um that everything's going going very well there, actually. Uh, with being a dead end, you know, that that's part of the issue that we ran into with that that area. There's one way in, one way out, and we're they're coming up the hill right now with pipe. So people are kind of stuck from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, but everybody's done a great job of, you know, kind of letting us know <clears throat> when they have doctor's appointments, when they have to get out, um, different things like that. So it so it's working. So that's pretty much your status report on on projects that we have going on right now. Uh, you know, just a question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, go we don't need any any action on that. That's just FYI. Kip, a uh, question on the Malibu crossing. Um, is there? I'm uh, just curious. Out of curiosity, are there already existing 12 inch valves? on either side or are they going to put those in addition uh on no they they'll put them there's two that are going in on it there's one on the on the village side and i'd have to pull my plans up scott but because there's a there's actually a meter vault that's going in there too in that area on our side okay. on the on the hudson side is there's a meter vault that's going in there so there there's I want to say there's three or four different valves in there because there's bypass yeah. and all sorts of stuff. Check valve. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. To isolate that section that they had to for whatever reason. Correct. Okay. Just yeah. curious. Yeah. Okay. Any other um, questions about the project status report? All right. Number six, other business for informational purposes only or for an upcoming agenda? I did not have anything this month unless anybody else does. Anybody else? All right, number seven, sewer utility and water utility cash reports. Cash reports are in your packet. Are there any questions on those? Anything unusual Can in them? No. Kip, I had one more curiosity question on the Green Street project, and I maybe already asked this, but is that main loop down the hill to Cooley? Yes. And that that's getting replaced too, or that piece? Oh of no, the right? no. The Green on, on the Green Street project, the only thing we have on the Green Street project, um, I've got three spots that uh, where the laterals come into the into the main that sure. are are bad. So okay. actually. Um, we're we didn't include that in part of the green street project i actually have uh gary zappa coming in he's going to fix those three spots um i believe next week he's coming in to do that he'll fix those three spots and then green street's just getting a mill and overlay and uh well no maybe they are doing i don't know if they're doing 
curve and gutter. I don't, I don't know. I but, think they're yeah. doing the full thing. But the only thing that, that the utility has on Green Street is um, a couple of spot repairs of sanitary sewer and then some, some adjustments on there. Okay. So the main was already looped to Cooley. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, that goes down and so does in sanitary. So. Okay, any questions about the cash report? All right, item eight, eight discussion and possible action on claims. Any questions about the claims? Do we have a move to accept them? Or to a move to approve claims. Okay, thank you. Second? Is there a second? I'll second. Okay, thank you, Susie. Mm -hmm. um, all right, any uh, questions? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. All right, item nine, closed session. I did not, you don't have to read. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I put it on just in case. I don't have anything really to add right now on on the uh, existing water and wastewater agreements. Um, so it's up to you if you guys want to go into closed session. We don't have to. Um, I just left it on there just in case something would have came up. So it's up to you. You guys want to go in or don't? If you don't, we can just skip it and go to adjournment. Does anybody want to go into closed session? Okay. Do I have a move to adjourn? So move moved. to adjourn. <laughs> second. second. <laughs> everybody jumps in on that one. You got everybody moving and everybody seconding. That's everybody. right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.